Hi guys, today I would like to show you one of my favorite uh, deep stretches. Um, it's called the pancake and I'm not talking about the nice dessert, <laughs> unfortunately. So I'm talking about a deep stretch where you're opening your legs and you bend forwards. So don't worry if you can't do this position because this is a, a class to learn or to improve this kind of stretch, okay? So first of all, we're starting with a little warm up. So feel free to tuck your toes under, shift yourself back and then push your hips out. And just a couple of times, squeeze your bump forwards. And then we stay here and come into a lunge. Yeah, so bring one leg forwards, shift yourself a little bit to the front and then coming back. And so we start mobilizing the hips and then stretching everything around your hips and legs to improve this kind of position. All right, from here, we're gently moving into a runner stretch. So pull your toes towards your chest. Make sure that the outside of your toes is also rotating towards you. And I'm coming back to the front. Shift your hips forwards. Feel free to use a block if you, ha if you have to. Otherwise, drop your hand down. And then from here, we paddle backwards and I'm grabbing the heel. Don't worry if you can't grab your feet, just use a belt or try to just go with, um, or just try to bring the heel towards your hips um, with using your muscles, okay? If you can grab your foot, just go on top of it and then bring the heel towards your bum. A couple of times like this. And then try to stay here for a moment. Now really make sure that you push your hips forwards, you bring the heel close to your hips. And then we gently come back and we switch sides. Same to here, mobilizing a little bit. So shifting your weight forwards and backwards. And then stay here. Again, drop your hand down, use a block if you want to. And pedal backwards. Chup, chup. So from here, keep the, uh, the hips forwards and then bring the heel in to get a bit more intense stretch. And try to stay here for a moment. Hmm. So we're just preparing ourselves for some deeper stretches. All right, and then from here, gently moving into runner stretch, pull the toes towards yourself. I'm checking if you need a pedicure. I'm joking. And I'm coming back here. And I'm bringing both knees under your hips. So from here, because for a pancake, you also need a lot of flexibility around yourself and around your side muscles. We lift the arms up, We're leaning towards the right side. You're free to place your hand here and then just try to kind of melt into this position. Yeah. You can also use a block if you want to support you. Otherwise, trying to reach out for the floor. And then gently coming back, switching sides. And again, take your time, push your hips forwards. And we're coming back. Nice guys. All right, so from here, uh, we're coming into a seated position and then extending the left leg out, bending the right leg in. Yeah. And then really try to push the extended leg a little further out so that you're kind of creating a right angle. If you find it hard to sit in this position, you can also use a block under your bum or you go around and then try to keep the heel as close to your bum as possible so that you're not yeah, overstressing your knee. Okay, so from here, we're lifting the arms up, taking a deep breath in and rotating the chest towards the extended leg. As you breathe, what we gently lean forwards and you can grab your thigh or your shin, however, like whatever you can grab. And then try to um, do a kind of a mechanical movement. So we're bending the elbows outside and then pulling ourselves towards the extended leg. And you can also rock yourself up and down 
yeah? Most important for me here is really that you keep your back straight, that you're not overrounding yourself, so don't hide yourself. Keep your chest proud and tall, and then sink in with a straight spine. And again, if you like to, you can rock yourself up and down, maybe going even further. Nice, guys. So left arm goes inside. We're opening the right arm up, taking a deep breath in here. Bring the hand behind your head and sinking down. Elbow goes down. Inhale, lift all the way up. Push yourself out of the shoulder and breathe out. Nice. Inhale, lift up even higher and out. One more round. Inhale, stay here. And as you breathe out, we gently extend the arm. Yeah, feel the stretch in, in your fingertips down into your hip and then slowly melt a little deeper. You're also here, feel free to rock yourself up and down. I'm a big fan of a bit of dynamic in static positions. And see if you can adapt. So whenever you feel that your body wants to move in to this position a little deeper, so you make a little bit of space, really make sure that you don't hide yourself. Open this elbow up, push your chest out and then sink in. All right, take a deep breath in, gently come back and we switch sides. So once more, press out the extended leg, try to create kind of a right angle in your hips and a lift up, rotate, twist to the other side and sink down. Again, now use your hands, use your arms to support you in the stretch. And slowly, slowly sink down deeper and deeper. Hmm. And we move on. Bring the arm to the inside. And I'm kind of pressing my arm against my leg so that I create a little bit more open chest here. And as we breathe in, we stretch out. As we breathe, as we breathe in, as we uh, breathe out, we bring the hands behind your head. Elbow slowly down. Inhale, lift all the way up. And breathe out gently down. One more like this, breathe in. And breathe out, extend your arm above your head, further behind your head. Also again, use the other arm, actively press yourself out, open yourself. And then from here, you can also rock yourself up and down. So whatever feels good to you, to, uh, to you and your body, yeah? Check intuitively if you want to go deeper, if you want to adapt, if you have the feeling that you can't breathe anymore, you're probably a little bit too far. All right, so from here, we're coming back up, taking a deep breath in. And then from here, bringing both knees in shortly, moving from left to right. All right, so from here, slowly moving into a pancake. So it's getting exciting now. <laughs> so shift your hips out, yeah? Boop, so that you really sit on your, sit, uh, on your sitting bones. Um, try to create a right angle, or if you can, if the flexibility allows you a little further. And I kind of hook in my heels into the ground. So I'm actively pressing my legs into the ground. Yeah. If you feel you want to go further, you can also bring your hands under and then squeeze them out a little more. Yeah. If you're really struggling with bending forward, it's also fine to just use a wall and then do the same position on the wall and then first of all, getting into the stretch. Otherwise, replacing the hands down onto the ground. And again, feel free to rock yourself up and down before moving in here. And with every time I'm rocking down, go a little deeper. So and then from here, we interlock our thumbs, lift up, taking a deep breath in. And then leaning towards your right, breathe out. Maybe you want to touch your toes, pop. Coming all the way to the front as you breathe in, switching back up. Breathe out, other side, to the front, and all the way up, breathe in. Nice, let's do another round. Breathe out, and in, and out, and in. There you go. And then we stay on the right side. So you see I'm really opening my chest, I'm rotating up, 
and then I'm leaning in. You can use the arm here, relaxing and then stretching out yourself. Again, rocking up and down. See if you can touch your toes without bringing the elbow in front of your face. So you really want to open. And if your flexibility allows, you can also place the hand, place the hand here, making a little bit more space for your shoulder and then touching your toe. Yeah. So from here, if you can touch your he uh, feet, yeah, you can also try to pull yourself a little bit more into this position. And as soon as you're ready, take a deep breath in, gently come back up and then switch sides. And again, I'm really opening the chest here, leaning in, maybe rocking up and down. So whatever feels good to you right now, feel free to go for it. And again, open yourself a little bit deeper. Hmm, this side is a little bit tighter, so I might want to stay here. Yeah. And it's totally fine if you figure out a little disbalance in your body. No body is completely stretched equally or like strengthened equally. So that's totally fine if you see this little imperfection as something to improve your balance, improve your stretch, to get more into a balanced body. All right. Uh, we're coming back up, breathing in. And then folding forward as you breathe out again, try to press your legs actively into the ground. So I'm really printing the floor with my legs. And as I release the, uh, I release the tension, I sink down even deeper. Yeah, you can also just use your hands here, no matter where you are. We actively press the legs again into the ground. So use your upper thighs, use the muscles, press, press, press. And then release, try to sink the upper body down. And again, press, press, press. So we're switching in between active and passive. And release. And once more, actively pressing in and release. And then see, you don't necessarily have to kiss the floor to do a pancake. It's totally fine if you want to stay here. Yeah? There's no need to reach further as your body is telling you. All right. Well, if you want to go further and you feel that you really can hold this position, you can also use, or like bring the arms sideways, making some space for your chest and then gently sinking down into the ground. And as soon as you're ready, you're slowly moving back up. And this was quite an intense stretch. We help our legs, we support our legs to bend them back. Make ourselves small for a moment. Mm, really feeling my ligaments. Don't know how it is with you guys. So, so I'm squeezing everything in, giving my legs a well-deserved hug. Yeah. And then from here, releasing the stretch, and the feet a little bit to the outside and then shifting from left to right. All right, nice guys. So let's go into a little cool down here and bring the legs to the front, shake them out again. And bend the knees slightly, lift your arms up. And as you breathe out, move into a gentle forward bend, the last intense stretch for today. And then worry, if your pancake doesn't look like the one of the yoga teacher, yeah, doesn't matter, it's practice is key. So the more often you try it, the more you give attention to the stretch in your legs, the easier it will get. Yeah? And then slowly roll yourself up, bend your knees, and then bring your hands behind, push your chest out, and just a little, little bit more stretch for the front side of your body. We shifting the hips up, coming into a reverse tabletop. So squeeze your hips up here. If you're struggling, you can also stay bend it, and then lift up. Holding here for one to two more deep breaths. And gently bring your chin to your chest. Drop yourself down and release. Maybe you wanna shake out your shoulders. Yeah, and then we're done for today. And somehow I'm really into pancakes at the moment. <laughs> See you in the next video. Thank you.